Hello everyone, um, I'm Hacker Magnus, and yeah, I'm back, I guess you could say. Um, I haven't made a video for a while, and um, I'm sorry, but I've been really busy um, for the past few days, a um, few weeks, perhaps months. Okay, I haven't made a video for a long time, but here you go. Um, so this is a video where I'm gonna be showing you some stuff in redstone and this is about the worst explanation I could possibly give but right I'm actually gonna be showing you three things um, how to build a redstone binary decoder how to make an encoder which is the opposite and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a seven segment display all right so let's get started start no, start it um yeah um anyways um decoder um my screen re uh, this looks a little weird because my screen resolution is different because it was really lacking and I had to change anyways to make the decoder all you gotta do, um, let's say you want to make an 8-bit decoder. All you gotta do is to place a bunch of these blocks. Um, if you want to make an 8-bit, you place 8 of these blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you want to make an 8-bit, if you want to make a 16-bit, you just place 16. Alright, um, next you are going to place a torch on the box um, so that the torch is facing the next block and you want to do that for each and every one of these right so when you have this you want to place a block on top of the redstone So you have this, and then um, you want to place a torch on this side of the block, so that this torch on top here is facing the other direction than the torch over here. Like this. This is like this is like a classic repeater thing that we used before the repeated became an in-game item anyways you just want to place this torch on each block alright so you should have this and now you just want to make a third row so you just place a block right here and you make a, ro a full row of blocks on top of the decoder so it looks like this and after you done that you want to place a redstone line across um, on top of the decoder and after you do that you just go on the end and place the torch Alright, and this is your decoder. Um, I'm going to show you how to use it. So, first of all, the inputs are just these redstone wires that go into the block. Oops. So, we just connect redstone wire into each block, like this and there are eight of those because this is an eight bit right so let's say right now this is set at zero 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 so let's say you want it to be one let's say that you want um, the first bit to be one then you just gotta break this torch and replace it by placing a torch on top of this block 
then it will be 1 instead of just 0 and as you do that um, this torch turns off and the output right here is 0 so how it works is that it has to be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 for this output to be 1 otherwise if it's something else if it if, if I just put some crap over here you know it's gonna be 0 and as long as it is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 um, the output will be 1 also if you would like to make a bigger decoder all you're gonna do is you gotta place a repeater um, um, going from every block on the ground like this and then you can simply um, make a decoder again right here and this is how you can make a bunch of decoders on the same bus and it will take very little space so this is really handy for a lot of things so let's say that you want this one to be 2 or 1 1 and I'm just gonna build this thing And don't forget to make the redstone on top of the decoder. Um, a lot of people um, forget to do that. And you just do this. And then, right here, instead of just being a bunch of zeros, you put 1, 1, or 2. So, these are basically two con um, two decoders connected into the same bus. So if you put zero one, then this will be the output for this one will be one. If you put one one or two, then this one it could be enabled. If you just put some crap, then neither of those will be enabled. So this is how it works and yeah this is really simple um, now I'm going to show you how to make a encoder um, it's really simple actually um, basically I'm just gonna make a 4-bit I don't wanna take too much time on building this thing so 1 2 3 and 4 alright so you have a 4-bit bus and you just put a block over the bus and you put a bunch of those just a bunch of those rows there has to be one block between everyone so just do that right and then simply place a line of redstone on top alright so now you basically just count in binary so it's zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 one 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 zero zero then it will be like one zero one and so forth it basically just comes in binary and also um one one is three i'm sorry i had a little mix up <laughs> anyways 
Also, you have to make a not gate for every one of these lines. Alright. And that's basically all you're gonna do. Um, so, if you power this line, the output on the bus will be 1. If you power this line, the output on the bus will be 2. If you power the next one, it will be 3. And if you power this one, it will be 4. And you can just keep going, making making the same basic thing. Um, this is going to be very useful if, say, you're making a computer and it has like a little col control port. And maybe if you use one, maybe if you press a button, it will make one, or the next one is two. You know, this could be very useful som for some things. Right, so now I'm going to teach you how to make a seven segment display. All right, um, and I think I'm running a little low on time here, so I'm just gonna show you how to make a seven segment decoder for the screen for number input in the next episode. But anyways, um, I really hate pistons for some reason. I just I don't like them, but still. Um, we're gonna be using pistons for this. So, I think you're gonna make. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna make a six um, blocks wide. And, um, hang on, I'm calculating. Just like this. Dun, dun, dun. I think I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by six. Yeah, you're gonna make a make a nine by six. Um, just like a wall, basically. Right, and on the bottom, you're gonna make <coughs> a hole like this, and then you make a hole right here, right here, 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 and here. This is just like a little template for the screen. And on the back, you just place a 4x4 four four block, so it's easier for you to place the pistons. So you just place the pistons like this, and they have to be facing like this. They have to be facing front. So just do that for every hole. Alright. After you do that, just go p on the back and just get rid of that stone that you made and then just fill up the holes with stone again or something else whatever you're building right okay and now on the bottom you're gonna make just a little surface like this and you're gonna make two repeaters facing into the piston and connect them together using redstone and this is the first input and then for each side you're just gonna do this I think this will work you just place a repeater facing into this piston and just make a wire and right here put a piston and 
Push them. And right here in the center, just place two repeaters. Connect them with redstone. And on the sides, like this. Repeater. And on the other side. Um, I think I'm going a little fast actually, so I'm just gonna show you the whole thing after I'm done. Make a repeater. And the last one. Okay. These are the inputs. Now, for the one on the bottom, um, this is what you make. Um, two repeaters facing into the piston and connected by redstone. And for the one above, in the middle, you do the same thing. And for the one on the top, you do the same thing. And on the sides, all of the four sides, you simply make like a little, just a repeater facing into this piston right here and reason wire okay and you're basically done um, I'm just gonna make a little demonstration okay so if we were to make the number two we just got to like if we put power into this one then the top thing will let me just put the small lighting to on so you can actually see this as you can see these two blocks on the top will go forward and if you put power into this you will get these and then you just put power into the center and this one and the one on the bottom and you will get a 2 so yeah that's all there is um, in the next episode I will actually show you how to make a binary decoder for this screen so you can actually connect your binary logic into the screen so you can print binary numbers to the screen and it will work so you can make like a calculator or something so yeah um, that's all the risk for this episode I hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions just comment um, and please comment rate and subscribe thank you for watching